Hi, in a previous video, I made the teardown of the pylon decoder unit type D from the Panavia Tornado. And as I said in the video, there is also available on eBay the pylon decoder unit type B. Uh, here, obviously, we have not completely not the same form factor, it is a lot more rectangular and compact. We do not have the big letters on the side, just small letters on the manufacturer plate. This one is branded BAE Systems, while the other one was uh, Marconi Avionics, but here with a sticker from BAE Systems also. I did not get the paperwork for this one, we have a serial number uh, quite big at 5153. And we have only two big connectors instead of the number of connectors on this kind. So, I am really interested to see what we will find inside. Is it the same thing? Is it totally different? I have no idea. So in preparation of the video, I did already undo most of the screws because they are um, quite difficult. They are quite bad. Actually, actually, I did order replacement screws and it is good because I did just figure out that I did lose the screws I did already undo. They are 2.5 millimeters screws. So obviously we have a cover on each side. And at the bottom, we have a lot of screws securing uh, things inside. Excuse me for the rain noise, by the way. And I did notice, if you watched the previous video, uh, you know that the screws here are for power golden hybrids. And it looks very much like we have exact same footprint. But here we have 16 of them. So if it is this, it will be awesome. I will start by undoing the side covers. So, I did already check on the loosen this cross previously because Quite annoying. Really, really curious to see what we will find inside here. So you can see another difference with the other box. Here we have regular screws, no captive screws. We have this cover that is lifting off. Part number, uh, cards, form, retaining form, and here is what we have. Okay, I see a set of three circuit boards that look extremely similar to the one we have in the other box. We will check this immediately. As I should be able to lift them. But actually, it looks like they are press fit here with, uh, I see a stack of plastic parts. Or maybe I need the first to undo. So I will undo all the covers anyway. So. I hope the replacement screws will not take too long to come from China. I did uh, select those uh, black anodized Allen screws. I hope that it is, that we receive the correct stuff to replace these ones that are uh, not good at all. Okay, yes, you can see there is a bit of a plastic piece here and it is uh, applying some pressure on the stack of cards. And I will also undo here the over plate. I expect to find here most probably 
the motherboard onto the back plane, I mean, onto which uh, the cards are attached. Yes, it is exactly this. We can see here the wire loom going to the connectors. A bit of a terminal board here, grounding board with everything connected together. And, and, guys, yes, I was right. As you can see, looks like we have a number of power golden hybrids. The same model by uh, Lucas, then the other uh, pylon decoder unit. And you can see there is some uh, silicone uh, insulating group here onto some of the uh, red wires. Do not know if it is for high voltage or something like this. Quite interesting. And we have, like in the other one, a board here with uh, capacitors. So it seems to be a mostly uh, different uh, form factor and uh, different number of uh, outputs or something like this, but quite a similar uh, device. So I should have preferred something completely different, but given the parts in here are super nice anyway, it is not a big deal. So I will try to extract the bonds. Looks like it is not easy. Okay, and I believe it is exactly the same board we have in the other one. And all uh, net resistor networks here. What seems to be two shielded things here. Two megahertz with the oscillators. A number of uh, ceramic ICs. I believe this is exactly the same card. So let me undo this uh, overboard. Mm. Try to at least. Because ah, it is actually super tight fit in this backplane. Maybe even uh, worse than the uh, first device. Okay, and yes, the same stuff, the same metal hybrid circuits, the same gold cap ICs, all the same. Okay, I will undo the overboard because I want also to be able to reach here at the back the Power hybrids. So similar board. And here we have this uh, plate. So in order to be able to uh, unscrew it without risking too much damage on the pins, I will undo this motherboard in order to get try to flip it out of the way. It is just a matter of undoing a few screws. No shortage of screws in these things, by the way. And no shortage of rain outside. Um, but it is my only day in the week. I have time to do videos, so... I have to deal with the external conditions. I need a cloudy weather with no no rain, no wind, but cloudy to have a nice uh, diffused light. Okay, so this uh, is coming off. You can see uh, we have directly pins soldered to this board. Golden pins for the connectors. And we have apparently uh, <coughs> six uh, 
interesting screws that will should allow me to get the plate here out of the way, check what we have on it, and most important, check what we have under it. Some kind of uh, Teflon insulator pad here. So Teflon uh, standoffs for the little interconnects and uh, little plastic piece that is uh, matching the uh, uh, spacers on each of the board that we press one on the other one. Okay, so here we are. So first in here we have uh, six power diodes, so might be a three phase bridge rectifier. By the way, it is called the uh, supply model assembly. You can see all the diodes are secured directly to the plate to act as uh, heat sink, and also they did apply black insulating group here. So power supply is black and the hybrid modules are white group. And as you can see, yes, I was right. It will be difficult to show you all of them, but believe me, under all these wires, we have all of the same golden modules, hybrid modules. So quite an insane work, apparently. Really uh, impressive. Oh, they are still the same Lucas PHS 004 2, dead code in 1983. So if you search them on uh, Google, you will find uh, somebody selling them on eBay for uh, 50 British pounds uh, buff for two, I believe, something like this. But you do not find any. Uh, information about what they are. And, uh, yes, as I said earlier, they are secured with uh, four screws each. And the screws are actually uh, 3D into a metal plate here that is not glued, is uh, separate from the hybrid module. So if I remove the screws, the plate will fall off as it did happen with the other tier down and will be super complicated to reinstall, providing that we have also a separator metal plate behind. There is a, a metal piece behind that will fall also. So I do not know how they did put this back together, bring it well together the first time, I mean, in the factory, because you have to add to it the fact that uh, you will have all these wires already soldered to the modules and also you have no reach because I must no reach because of uh, aluminium uh, piece here that is uh, one single piece and you cannot uh, open in half to have a better access so in particular in this area here probably a real nightmare to put together and also I did just notice here, look, there is a little uh, bridge piece uh, secured here with, uh, and they did uh, attach the wire loom to it. So how oh, they did uh, do it, maybe before installing the connectors, but no, because the connectors come from the inside of the box. So really, the assembly of this thing must be a nightmare. Quite uh, insane. So I guess everything is put together, connected together first. And they slide the thing in the box and secure it. They show all the parts, but really, really uh, quite uh, super complicated assembly probably. One of the worst uh, design I have ever seen because imagine you have one blown module and you need to replace say this one here 
This one is blood, you need to replace it. How do you proceed? Really, really uh, interesting. You can see here the rails in the middle for the, in the, in the side for the, the card to slide in the black plane board. And it will be all for this thing. So I will put this back together. Hopefully, at this step of this assembly, it will not be too difficult. It is sad I did lose my other uh, container with uh, the rest of the screws. It must be somewhere. But anyways, I will uh, replace these screws later. And uh, three more uh, nice uh, circuit boards. At least with a nice hybrids. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.